Okay, I'm putting the engine back together. I found the problem with the kickstart, and uh, I'll show it to you on the diagram. Here's the diagram. This is your kickstart shaft right here, right? And these are the uh, the washers and the uh, C clips. And here's the gear right here that goes uh, kind of slides on this end of the shaft back and forth when you kickstart. So when you kickstart, it kind of moves forward and engages the gear. So what had happened is this right here, this spring, it sits inside this gear, right? And the end of this spring right here goes on the side of your cover. You'll see when you take it apart what I mean. So what happened with me is that this clip right here had come off the gear. So it sits inside this gear. You can see a little bit with the shadowing. It goes right inside. So it come off for me and that's the reason why uh, it wouldn't engage. It's, uh, so if that happens to you uh, where you're kicking it and it doesn't make it a difference when you're adjusting the clutch, then chances are it's because this spring is either broken or came off this gear. So if that happens, uh, either way, uh, like I said, if the clutch doesn't make a difference, then you got to split the whole engine. It's a lot of work. So, but it can be done. You can probably do it in an afternoon. Right, so I'm pretty good. Um, I got the engine back in after uh, finding my uh, problem there with the kickstart. It was the spring that was off, and I showed it in my previous video. Showed it on the diagram, what it looks like. So um, don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, when you've got it all together and still on a bench, kick it over. If it doesn't kick over, then you need to take her back apart. And that's not that's what I didn't do. So anyway, the engine's back in. Got my carburetor in. I've got my uh, air box. So uh, right now what I did is I put in uh, my exhaust. And as you can tell, it fits okay. I mean, it... Uh, the, uh, I find that the aftermarket ones, they kind of stick out a little bit away from the frame. But I think this will be okay with this one because I've got the aftermarket uh, foot peg assembly, which are a bit wider than the uh, standard. So I think it'll be okay. The only problem I might have is maybe the kickstart. As you can tell, there's not much clearance muffler in the kickstart. But we'll see if it does bug us. Then uh, I will take the exhaust back off and bend this bracket in so that it's tucked more towards the frame. But uh, we'll see about that. And also I did uh, hone out, or should I say hog out, or whatever, inside the pipe here. Because remember when I showed the previous video, I could barely fit my finger inside the hole. Uh, it was crazy how restricted it was. And it had to do with buildup of weld. So I grinded that out and opened it up. So it should make a big difference. Now, um, I didn't do that with my 73, which is right beside me, right here. But um, what I'm going to do after I'm done the 77 here is take the muffler off the 73 and take a look. I never even thought to look inside there. So, um, you know, if it's... Uh, plugged up just like this one was holy moly I'm surprised this bike's running as good as it does anyway next step now is going to be to put the seat on I've got it on my bench right here uh, the seat was all done it was like this brown leather that they had put on it so I went and ordered the seat that's for that year here it is right here um, so I got it on and uh, what I did is I went and got some of this uh, chrome trim. You pick this up in any store. I'm in Canada, so I picked it up at Canadian Tire. And all it is is just door trim. It's just this fake plastic chrome thing. And it fits right on the edge. And there should be there's some glue inside of this and it should stick on. Uh, anyway, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to put on. It goes on tight. Same with the seat. seat goes on pretty tight. Uh, it's not perfect, but you get what you pay for. I didn't pay much for it. I think it was $20, $20 or something like that, um, U.S. So it's not perfect. I noticed the stitching here is not as tight as I'd like it. 
and uh, also in the back here it's a bit wrinkled I don't think uh, I don't know what happened I think it has to do with the leather maybe it's not perfect or it could be my seat the foam itself but you know what it's good enough for this bike this bike's gonna be used by the kids so uh, we'll see if this seat even lasts a year but uh, you know that's gonna be my next step I'm gonna put this seat on Let's get the bracket already on painted ready to go and I just painted underneath of it uh, just uh, anti-rust paint, uh, the metallic gray or whatever it is, the same color as the rim. So I just gave it a coat just to protect it a bit. So, so that's it for now.